Hey folks, Jim Taylor here. Uh, tonight we're going to do that light painting like I was talking about. I uh, thought I would show you my setup right quick before we get into it. But here I've got I've got the mark I got on S, which is for shutter priority, and I've got the shutter. I use my spinning wheel here to adjust my shutter. There's six, eight. I got it on eight seconds, and I have my iOS. Um, my my ISO is on 100. Um, I did try some pictures on 800 ISO, but I think maybe 100 will work better. We're gonna give that a shot. And here I have my controller, my drones on. I'll show you how I've got that set up. So what I did here was. Um, I've got the one of those drop kits hooked to my drone and a piece of fishing line hooked to it and here's a flashlight so when we take off I give that little flashlight a spin and raise the drone up and it'll make for some good light painting pictures So I don't have um, a wireless shutter button for this old camera, but um, I did have my wife take a couple of shots for me uh, with me standing in it. But um, right now we're going to fly up and take a few shots and uh, you can see that happening. Right now, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get it rocking, a little back and forth, and a little side to side, and get that flashlight going around in a circle. Cause I was able to throw it in a circle when I had my wife take the picture. But there we go. And then I'll press the shutter button on my camera, and I'll raise up. For about eight seconds and then we'll bring it back down and this is what it looks like I think it would look better if I go up a little slower so come in closer and get that flashlight rocking and then I'm going to get my shutter and I'm going to rise up slowly have a look at that. So I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Okay, and now here are some of the shots my wife took, a couple of those. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to mention before I finish up this video, um, 
when my wife was taking the pictures and when I was taking some pictures, uh, I, I did have to set a timer because I don't have a remote for the shutter. Uh, if you don't set a timer and you have your shutter out to eight seconds, the slightest touch is going to blur your photos. So you're going to want a delayed timer. I think most of these cameras, the default is 10 seconds, but you can change that. I set mine to two seconds, and uh, so that that helped get the clearer photos, as clear as they could be. Uh, but I wanted to just throw that in there. Hopefully, I'll give you a good idea one way to do it um, I do have another video out where you can do it with your cell phone and an app um, if you don't have a DSLR camera um, the results probably aren't quite as good but I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll try to get something else out as soon as I can y'all have a good night